Hello guys, welcome back to day. I'm going to be talking about my just overall experience going to the round one of the 2018 NHL Draft. Now, it was an amazing night. If you follow me on Twitter, you already know I got to meet some amazing people. I got to see a lot of great draft picks. And I got, you know, even though they're upper deck seats, you know, they were pretty decent seats from just upper deck. So overall, the um, just the experience was fantastic. Now, first, let's look at the stuff that I purchased today. First up, I purchased this new uh, draft hat for the Dallas Stars. This one is going to be my main one going forward. Now, this one's weird because, of course, you, they have the dots around them for every NHL team. It's a weird one. They look a lot better in person. I wasn't a fan of them just starting out, but they look a lot better in person. Um, and honestly, they're decent. They're, I feel like the ones last year where they had the stripes, every team stripes along the thing. I thought that was a lot better last season, but these are still decent. They're not terrible. I still think that overall, these are pretty good and of course it got the NHL on the back it's the Fanatics version it has the subtle Dallas Texas right there as well and of course it fits like a glove now it looks a little bit more like a baseball cap than of course this one but hey it still looks pretty good now I also bought a draft puck from this year that'll be going I think right here in between these two pucks That'll be situated, but getting a puck to commemorate, of course, being in the draft in Dallas, getting this puck is going to be pretty special. Now, I didn't get any uh, any like t-shirts or anything, just this puck, and well, it looks pretty cool. And when you buy it, you also get this 2018 draft bag, which I, it's the simplest things, but it's still pretty awesome. Now, the plan was for me to buy my new Angel Adidas Doll Stars jersey today at the hangar in the AAC, but the price was just for the roof. It was $225 for a number and name on the back, and of course, you guys know my superstition. I need a player and a number on the back. That's just me. It sucks that I had to pay extra for it, but hey, that's just how it works. But I was going to buy, buy one, but for $225, you know, they're coming out with new ones next year. Might as well wait for that when Christmas comes along and you get a jersey for like 170 150 you get a big deal in Christmas and just get a big deal. So I wasn't going to wait or I didn't want to have to spend now. I feel like I could have waited. I still do stand by my decision. I think that yeah, spending the money on a jersey that you might be a little bit more outdated in like a few months and spending full price on it was a little bit of a wrong decision. So I decided to wait. Probably will be getting a new Dallas Stars jersey in December-ish. Oh yeah, and I also got two pretty sweet looking Dallas Stars Cups that are commemorating the 25th anniversary. I got two of these. The other one is up there. You can just barely see it, but uh, two of these. These are pretty cool, and uh, they got some, they got Jimmy Ben and Moro on the back, and that's pretty cool to say the least. Now, on to the experience itself, which was a doozy as well. And of course, walking to the AAC for the first time, you could definitely know that there's a lot of team or a lot of the fans coming from everywhere. You saw a lot of different teams' jerseys, and there was a lot of fans for pretty much every single team. There wasn't a ton for like some of the smaller teams. There wasn't a lot for the LA Kings, not a lot for the Ducks, but you saw some really good crowd attendance from fans that aren't even from Dallas. And don't even worry, we obviously booed Bettman hard, and he even acknowledged us, and it was kind of a fight between, it was kind of like a back and forth between the crowd and Bettman. It was hilarious, some of the things that he said because of that, and it got the crowd just fired up. Now, I went to the draft with me and my dad, and we were pretty much at the back as back as you can get but we were in that central position where you could just see the middle of everything at once so it wasn't terrible you got you were way in the back but we saw pretty much everything at a symmetrical angle so it was pretty nice just from a standpoint of taking pictures and being able to watch the draft in a pretty decent fashion and honestly, just the people around ev us and everything was amazing. The atmosphere was fantastic. You just go into the bathrooms and people would just be talking hockey. It was amazing and it was hilarious. And there was a lot of fantastic people here tonight. And honestly, it's just such a cool experience going to the draft, seeing these fantastic players, and potentially going to a draft that could be one of the best ever, as we see on paper. And seeing Dolan get drafted, seeing Zvezhnikov get drafted, seeing, seeing Kakaniemi getting drafted third overall, seeing Kachuk, seeing... All those guys, it was fantastic, and being able to see it in person was just something special that I might never do again. I mean, just think about it. When is the next time that a draft's going to be in Dallas? It's pretty much, right now, it was a lifetime opportunity for me. 
unless I somehow become an analyst or journalist or whatever that goes to these things annually. This could be my final draft and, of course, my first one ever, and it was fantastic, and I couldn't really ask for anything better. You know, I could be asked to draft, but uh, I don't think I would be very good at it. But again, it was so cool just seeing all the players, seeing Gary Bettman in person, that was fantastic as well. Just seeing all the players, seeing all the general managers, seeing everybody in person was fantastic. You just look down and you'd see all these teams, general managers, all these teams, just management. It was fantastic to see, and it was honestly just a fantastic time. It was just a great great of just a time to be able to see all these players see all these great prospects come through and to see everybody in person and being able to boo Gary Bettman live I wouldn't enjoy it any other way now one of the funniest things you'll see and one of the things that we did you'll probably see it in the vlog as well that's coming up is that Gary Bettman in the first few picks we started booing him of course every time he came up and said something but he was like oh yeah keep this up I don't know if you can and the AAC booed him pretty hard every single time every 30, 31 picks when he came up to say oh now it's Vancouver's pick with a 7th overall for instance the AAC erupted and it was a huge amount of boos especially when the Blackhawks came up. Yeah, if there's one thing 30 teams in the NHL can agree on, we hate the Blackhawks, and that's going to stay that way. But the atmosphere was amazing, the crowd was fantastic, we saw uh, some parties, we saw a few teams have like conjoined fan bases, we saw Carolina Hurricanes just from like a few rows behind, or uh, like to the side of us, there was a huge party of Hurricanes fans that were just in one group, and they were fantastic, and they got on TV as well, and they were just cheering the heck out of Sveshnikov, we saw a few, uh, one huge group for Buffalo, I saw a lot of Buffalo jerseys here tonight, in the draft, that was special as well, and whenever you'd see somebody I mean there was a lot of just team parties and you'd see a lot of fans from every single team it was pretty special to see but of course Stars fans and Victory Green was flooding the place as well there was tons of Stars fans and that's great to see of course them coming through it wasn't really packed throughout the whole thing of course towards the end you don't get as many people but a lot of people just in the spectacle and were just there and at the start of it it was pretty full uh, and it was a fantastic just the crowd and the atmosphere in general and again, being able to say that I've gone to an NHL draft is pretty special, and it's fantastic. I, it's just a great experience, and it was fantastic just for me, for personal experience. Being able to go draft was something just really special for me. Now, another section. On to the people that I met, because I met actually quite a few people. One of my YouTube mods, one of my live stream mods, Flyatory, we tried to meet up, we were at the hangar, and we did eventually. We talked a few minutes for hockey, and that's all we needed. Uh, we stayed for a few minutes, we got a picture, and it was fantastic. Meeting one of my YouTube mods was fantastic as well, and one of the best parts of the night. Now, on the way down from the, or on the way up, I guess, technically, from the elevators, I saw Rich Peverly, 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 talking on the phones on one of the hallways, one of the, I guess, exclusive hallways, and I just saw him there, and I got a picture of him, which, again, was pretty neat. Now, on the way out, uh, there was a lot of people, there's a lot of buses that were, uh, you know, shipping off all the management, and I saw a few people, I saw, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I saw Keandre Miller, uh, just uh, talking on the phone on his way out, I'm pretty sure I saw him. I'm pretty sure. Again, it, he uh, it looks like a lot of other people, so it might not have been him, but I still think it was him. I ended up seeing Patrick Sullivan, uh, Pittsburgh Penguins coach, going on the bus as well. He was just talking to a few people and, you know, smiling, having a good time. And that was fantastic to see. I almost got a picture of him, but he just kind of, you know, went out on the last second, which is fine. But, hey, I got to see Patrick Sullivan in person, which was fantastic. A few feet away from me, I was just walking to the car, to the parking lot, and there he was. And I'm like, eh, Patrick Sullivan is right there. Now, on the way to the parking garage, we saw, or me and my dad saw, uh, caught Kaniemi, and of course, he was surrounded by, like, five agents, five people in suits, so we, we you know, kept our distance, but I got a couple of pictures of caught Kaniemi as well. Uh, we were about a few feet away from him. He was just going up the parking garage where we was in the same parking garage as us, so we went as well. Uh, caught Kaniemi was going up the same stairs that we did, and that was fantastic to see. He was still in his jersey, surprisingly, and was still looking fantastic, and uh, caught Kaniemi just seeing the random third overall pick out of nowhere just going into his parking garage that was cool to see and uh, just seeing him in just anywhere at all was fantastic and it's kind of surreal just seeing that third overall pick just right there now I thought that was really cool and while heading up to our car we saw something else right when we're about to leave or right about when we're coming up the escalator I see Kari Lettinen coming up as well 
and he was right next to us. I ended up taking a few pictures of him behind his back, technically, uh, but he sees me taking those pictures. He, uh, you know, away, kind of goes like this, you know, come over here, and I'm like, what is happening? And I'm, is it Carlin really saying me to come over to him? So I go over to him, and he's like, hey, I saw you trying to take pictures of me. Let's take a real picture. And I just take a real picture of Renai right beside him. He smiles, and he was fantastic. He's just... He just comes up and is supportive. He comes up and just takes a picture out of nowhere. Meet Kari Lennon. That was fantastic. He was just, he's in his, you know, Sunday attire. He was looking, you know, pretty like a lazy Friday. Just had a t-shirt and everything. He was just walking by. I'm like, that's Kari Lennon right there. I ended up getting a picture with him. It was fantastic. He's a huge guy, like 6'4", so he towered over me. But that was fantastic. It was just a brilliant moment. I had no expectation about that, but... Meeting Carl Lennon and having him right beside me with the picture, that was fantastic. And it was just a starstruck moment. Pun, no pun intended, but seeing Carl Lennon right there and then just taking a picture of him right out of nowhere was just the cherry on top of a fantastic night. Now, I always got the vibe that Kari was a fantastic person and he was a great guy off the ice, but he just comes over and wants to take a picture with me of all people, you know, a useless me, but it was fantastic. It was a great experience, and just meeting Kari out of nowhere was just amazing. I couldn't really ask for anything more. He was just a real stand-up guy, you know, wanted to get a picture. That was fantastic and a great experience from him. Now, if you want to see the picture, that'll be on Twitter. And I posted a lot of pictures from tonight on Twitter. So if you want to go see that, you can go check that out. I did the picture of uh, Kotkaniemi as well, posted that on Twitter as well. But it was just a fantastic experience. And going to the draft was something really special that, you know, I might never even go to again. And going to the draft and seeing all these fantastic players being drafted, going to the draft, experiencing a lot of it, and meeting new people, <laughs> getting a picture with Carl Lennon was the fantastic part about it too, but just everything about it was fantastic, and even though we didn't have the best seats, we didn't have the best opportunity, we didn't weren't at the draft floor, we had a fantastic time, I had a fantastic time, and I really couldn't think of anything better than to do that. And it was just a brilliant experience that I, I might not get forget back, and it's fantastic. I, I I'm so it's just I'm starstruck about going, man. It was fantastic. I couldn't have asked for anything better, and it was honestly an amazing experience. The presentation was fantastic. The All Stars in general, fantastic, and just the ASC, the crowd, the presentation, just everything about it was great. And I'm super glad I went, and super glad I got to experience as much as I did. But again, just a little update, I will be live streaming probably, I don't know if I'll go completely round 2 for 7, but it'll be something like that, uh, maybe even the first couple rounds, we'll see what happens, but I'll probably be live streaming tomorrow, probably. But the stars are shining in Dallas, and for round 1 of the 2018 NHL Draft, it was fantastic, it was spectacular, and star-studded. So that's going for today, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Tell me down below what you thought of this draft. What do you think of my experience? What do you think about the stories? And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.